It's a pleasure to join you in celebrating the 10th anniversary of the Treaty of Lisbon. This commemoration built a bridge between Europe's past and Europe's future. And what better place to mark this historic event than the Open Parliament, a shining symbol of democracy. Ladies and gentlemen, institutions matter. They give legitimacy and ensure continuity, as Jean Monnet rightly said. They matter because they expand our capacity to act. They are a reflection of what we stand for. Let's look, to, let's look back a moment. The Treaty of Rome confirmed the solidarity which binds Europe. It linked our faith forever. The Treaty of Maastricht recalled the historic importance of the ending of the division of the European continent. It helped heal our wounds. The Treaty of Lisbon made our Charter of Fundamental Rights legally binding. It entered our Union in a bedrock of shared values and set the stage for the Europe we know today, founded on values and democratic institutions, respected in global affairs, and committed to improving the lives of its citizens. We all feel a deep attachment to the fundamental freedoms of liberty, democracy, and the rule of law. The Lisbon Treaty shines a light on these core beliefs. The Lisbon Treaty reinforced our democracy by strengthening the Parliament's ability to steer a course for our Union. The Lisbon Treaty also gave Europe a more powerful voice in global affairs by synchronizing Europe's foreign and security policy. Today, we can present a more unified face to the rest of the world. And to paraphrase former Swedish Prime Minister Karl Bildt, I want Europe to be a player, not a plaything. Ladies and gentlemen, Mesdames et Messieurs, aujourd'hui nous sommes impatients impatient today. There are so many challenges ahead of us. Climate, the digital agenda, peace, security, defense. The ability to speak together with a strong voice on the international scene. More than ever, I share with you the belief that we have reasons to be confident, reasons to be optimistic. A new institutional cycle is beginning. A parliament and which is here, which is mobilized, as I understood, looking towards the future, ready to debate, ready to shoulder its full responsibilities. We know what we have to do together. We know the uh, European Commission's program, the prospect of a conference on the future of Europe, I think, gives us uh, an opportunity to roll up our sleeves together and work together on the basis of this uh, new strength in Europe, ten years on from the treaty which I believe still has not shown its full potential. Let's look with confidence, optimism and hope towards the next ten years, never forgetting that we have to bear this uh, European dream with realism, pragmatism, but in particular with great determination to serve all European citizens, whatever their origin, whatever their nationality, whatever their beliefs, it will be based on these very strong values which uh, underlie the whole construction and which create the very soul of Europe. Thank you. Grazie, President. Thank you, President. Thank you to all of those of you who have taken the floor, the debate is closed and we'll just have a brief break for a couple of minutes. Thank you.